Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. If you truly love this injured mad. Now, last time we realized things may go a bit dangerous here. Alright, there's also these guys. Was it there more? There might not have been. Do we want to try and stealth this? Or do I want to try and see if he just walks into the fire one more time and burns himself alive? Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll try patience route and see if he kills himself. Oh, apparently his AI did reset now, so... Not looking back, not looking back, not looking back. Okay, we use that option. Though it's not the most honorable one, we did the job. And sometimes doing the job just has to be enough. Alright, well I want to unlock the shortcut, so I'll do that. God damn it, if he's still alive, I can't go and get that. Hmm. Very well. There's no illusion ahead, but there is a trap. And not as much of a trap as there is an ambush. There they come. Alright. Didn't the numbers a fair bit, so we should be fine. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. We look to be A alright. You just need to break all the barrels when you see them. It's like everyone's sworn duty in this game. Alright, now we will take the elevator upstairs for just a bit. Just open the door. And we will come back down. Oh, also good. Oh, and I stepped over that. That was the part of the plan. Okay, the door is now open. Let's make sure that guy doesn't follow us here, so pull the lever again. Because I accidentally lowered the bloody elevator, because I am a doofus. Oh well. B. Oh, and there's some loot hiding in this corner here, which I had forgotten about. Green blossoms again. Full apart armor. The people wearing that armor had been for had fallen a long, long time ago. All right, so we got a couple of options here, I think. A pretty fancy option is to jump down here and then not up here. And be like, yeah, I'm a badass. 
And then, yeah, one of those guys will see me. And they too will realize that, oh yeah, I'm a badass. See? A badass. I don't really thought I was in a backstab position. Time for charging. The thing is, I think we need an item before we go there, maybe? But that item may be a little bit challenging to re reach. Yes, not to risk. You don't risk items, do you? Well, items can go get at risk when they break a little. Alright, well... <sighs> this situation gets a lot easier at higher levels. Maxi gentlemen, sir, sir. Ah, he was close enough, I could done the thing. In general, fuck him. Fuck you. Alright, I may have to drink soon. Depends on how I want to handle this guy, and I think the answer is fire. Dun dun. They need it to burn. Yeah, so we need to drink. It died then it's shard. Alright. Well, there's a friendly person here. So a little bit of friendship. This is a safe zone where nothing can hide me. As evidenced by the numerous blood signs and blood marks. Alright. Hello. Ah. The wait has been long, unkindled one. Sorry about the holding the sword Emma, there. I am High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Unkindled one. Go through but be with the vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. You know, you could have warned me about that Unkindled before. Unkindled one, go through the great yes. but beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things, the vile... Alright, cool. Uh, that's... That then. We have our task. We have our way to accomplish this task. We also have an enemy over there which we want to avoid at all costs because... There's only so much focus I have. Okay, we need to wait for his patrol to take him back in that direction again so I can grab that loot before he notices me and then go and fight the boss. But this is much scarier than the boss, this guy. Because this guy, this guy, this guy has a sword. The boss, the boss does not have a sword. He just has pointy, pointy teeth. Little pointy teeth. That go like. And that's really scary, as you all know from experience. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. A Lucerne. Okay, cool. I don't really know what the animation on a Lucerne is in this. I do know I don't have the stats for it. And I certainly lacked experience, ex but, 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 yes, yes, the dexterity, not experience. Okay, let's call Swordmaster. 
Hey! That's an AI. I thought we had an actual player available here. It's kinda odd to see this little summons. Hmm. It's okay, he'll have to do. I trust in him. He's a great man. A great man. A man of muchus greatness. Alright, so open the door. Get on the floor. Maybe just maybe everyone could do the dinosaur. Or not, we could fight the boss. You could say he's a chill guy. Uh, and no, he doesn't have a sword. But he doesn't have a matching deep guy either. He just has a mace. I may have misremembered. Okay, the sword master is in the area. Please shank his bottom. Holy fucking shit, that went poorly. Okay, the sword master doesn't seem to be much use here. Do you like fire? Okay, he doesn't like fire. He doesn't like me either. And I'm frostbitten now, so whoop de do. That could have gone a lot better. Yeah, I'm dead. This is not gonna work out. Right. God damn it. I thought he had taken the sword master to his focus. Apparently not. <sighs> Alright, well, the challenging bit is getting there safely because my souls are there. Well, it's not at all that challenging. But you know, it's hazardous. Let's just get into the staircase and But I want to move this safely so I'll have to make sure that Any sorts of assets move out of the way. I can need that guy to go up the stairs. So I myself can go quietly. That was very quiet. You know, quietly. Down here. Call myself a nice little elevator because that's the buff, the shortcut we unlocked before. And then we can go ahead and. Get back to the boss fight area. Sounds good to me, to be fair. Sounds very good to me. Okay. And then we need to run, 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 run. Why did I lower my shield? Who knows? So I sure don't. Those guys changed their mind about me, so that means we're cool now. Because they don't don't like me anymore. 
All right. You wanna go, mate? Yeah? You wanna go? Mate? The problem with these mates is that neither of them really wants to go. Ready? 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 Good. Alright, and then we'll do this uh, particular maneuver of putting an item here that may or may not be the soapstone. And then I'm gonna put a summon sign here. Then I'll hope to be summoned. And then we'll probably get our rainbow back and then try again next episode so yeah basically this is awesome maybe we can actually try this episode let's see this went nicely so I got my ember restored and we've got two summon signs here I'm gonna call self food and I'm also gonna get sword master because why not it's it's gonna be handy to have a distractionary element at hand I think Alright. I got the souls back. So that's a good start. The warrior of sunlight is heading in first, but uh, I am getting absolutely wrecked over here. Okay. Okay, this warrior of sunlight is really good. Okay, I'm gonna thank him. Because he handled the whole situation himself, to be fair. Then I'm gonna be him goodbye. Bye bye. And just as the battle ended, the game crashed. Okay, but it's okay. The victory did still count, so. I think we're good. I do indeed think we're good. Alright, and. Now, I think we're also gonna rest at this bonfire. And uh, then we'll continue on towards the next area. But we'll do so next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.